everybody, my name is Sensei Cole and we're going to do a social kata tonight. Um, like I said, the purpose of this is, is that everybody can follow, even if you're a junior, uh, we're going to break it down. Like I said, this is a more senior kata, but we want it made to, uh, accessible to everybody. So we're not going to execute the whole kata, we're going to break it down a little bit, like uh, how do you eat the elephant in small pieces? That same principle. So even if you don't know the kata, just try the sequences yourself. Come back to the video uh, later and just work, use it as a workout. Okay, you doesn't need to, uh, to know the kata. Like I said, you're not going to learn the kata from what we are doing now. Uh, definitely not the sequence, but you can use it as a basic exercise. Okay, so Yotsky, Ray. Also not going to spend a lot of time on the, the warm-up like I said last time. I want to get to the technical part. So let's just do a bit of stretching inside and inside. Ich ni san chi bo ru chi chi ha chi ku chu and the other side. Stretching ich ni support your knees, support your weight from that on the inside going down. And you use your hand as your guideline. Must be behind your knee. Let's make sure that you get a proper stretch from this. Shne san shi go rok si chi ha chi ku ju shi ku da chi ku ju ni si chi san chi go rok si chi ha chi ku ju and ankles si chi go rok si chi ha chi. Two. Let's try it one side. We'll be back over the shoulder. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change the hands. The other way. Hachi ku ju. Change again. Ich ni san shi go rok si chi hachi. To change. Ich ni san go rok si chi hachi. Okay, sideways stretch, going backwards. Ich ni san chi go rok si chi hachi. And the other way. Ich ni san chi go rok si chi hachi. Ku ju. Right? Ankles, we just put the parole. Ich ni san chi go rok si chi hachi. Two, grip the toes, each knee, sun, go change, each knee, sun, go three, kick backward, each knee, sun, she, go, rub, she, ha, she, go, two, right, stretching to the side, and each knee, sun, she, go, rub, she, she, ha, she, go, two, other way. Pushing, make sure your arms are straight, extending the back muscles. And going backwards. Backwards, other way. And go down. Okay, guideline again, especially for the more seniors, up more juniors. Okay, the hands are up, that's one that's going to be your pivot point. Okay, right. And swing the arms, both arms forward. Okay, like I said last class, I presented to warm up, you know that we start at six, try to warm up before the time of it. So that we don't spend too much time on this alternating. The other way, for people that now are not in good look, they had a bit of rain this afternoon, so nice over the weekend. Contrary to the app on my phone, that didn't predict it, we had a nice, nice rain on um, what was it, Saturday, Saturday night, which is for us Namibians always a, a big thing. Get ready to move here. Okay, rest. Snee, sun, chi. Rug, humidity in the air for us is, is, is a thing that we're not used to. I'm already sweating. The doors only, the back door is open. 
So, yeah, that's nice. There, the onwards. shoulder pull down so you get maximum stretch in the neck muscle and the other side same principle drop side pull back the other shoulder same same principle maximum extension and to the other side front back a bit of breathing in Exhale. Now. Exhale. Let's stretch up. Keep maximum extension down. Come back, support the back. Breathing out. Back. Technique and for now, for tonight, let's try to generate power. Okay, 
So go with me on this. So from here, we need power, okay? From here, slide. One hand, then slide. Okay, each. Knee. So, other hand, good. Stay focused, don't let it, don't swap the flies, okay? Keep it tight. Six. Go. Three. Six. Hatch. Two. Two. Power comes from the floor. Generate the power from the floor, okay? The to toes are tight, okay? You can use a uh, bit of hip movement, but definitely use the power from the floor. Okay, all your techniques, okay? If you only use upper body, if you are using half your body, to, excuse me, to generate power. Turn, uh, turn, okay? Change your stance, I'm just changing so that you can see. From the other side, each, knee, trunk, chin, go. Rip, switch, hatch, cool, chip, right back, all the way back. So in the kata, if you, if, you, if, you, if you go through the sequence now, like I said for the juniors, your focus should be on a powerful technique. Okay? And understand that it's a strike and a golden block. We're gonna go and think about it, we'll discuss it just now. So in the kata, from normal yoin position. So each strike, get through, one, two, three, one, two, three, pause, get your ready for the general power, strike, get through, ready to general power, and strike. Okay, so important, okay, get, use your body, whole body to generate power from the floor, shoulders back, shoulders down. Don't lift your shoulders up. You're, you're taking your power away. Okay, people think, because they want to go fast, they want to go hard, you somehow think to, to do this with your shoulders. The fire's the whole purpose. Okay? Okay, then you take your lats out of the game. Yeah, you have to settle down, okay? Settle down, use the, the whole body. And again, you can't, you can't do, you don't walk with your knees locked. You can't, your body is not engineered like that. You cannot do karate with your knees now. You've got to settle down in your stances, knees slightly bent, so that you can generate the power. Okay? What is important to understand that there is a block. Okay? There is a block. You can just think of it that if somebody punches, you can use this as a block. And then you can strike, for example. For it. So that is a definite block, it can be used as a separate technique. In, in a, in a self-defense situation from here, block, strike for example. Okay, or in, in, in the bull guys also. Okay. So we're not gonna go into the detail of the bull guys tonight, but I want you to understand when we do a technique, and never ever do we want to teach bull guys and kata as two separate disciplines. Okay, it's always one unit. I strongly believe that you should teach kata and bunkai as a unit and, and so that the students can understand why they are doing it. Why are we doing it? What is this that you are doing? Okay, from the beginning. Right, so that was the first three movements of the sutra. So now we come, if you look at the kata, I'm facing the camera now again. Now you come and now you're going to grab. You know, we can compare the katas now. So we should. So Wunchen, we grab from here. In other words, your attacker has already got, got a hold of you. So it's here. So now you need to use your body weight, okay? In so Wunchen, to drop, Shikudachi, to pull it out. So Sorshin, we go from the assumption that you are going to get the guy before he gets hold of you. So in so Sorshin, we are here. You're gonna grab him here. Then from the little finger, and you're going to grab and then step back, again using your body weight, again using your body weight, you're going to pull, pull, pull your attack. Okay, but you have to grab him there. So you know, your, your reflexes must also be good. Okay. So Winchen is here, already got hold of you. So source is there. Okay. So from here. Now again, again, right? you've got to use your whole body. So this right foot of yours was in the kata, obviously in the, in the, in the application, it was left, right, left, right, depends on what foot is in front. You need to push. 
If you can see my feet, you can see my toes, is, my toes are gripping now. Well, I want to pull, push now, push, push back and pull. Okay. In there, pull back, pulling the person back. And start back there, why would you go so far back? Just a line here with your knee. Okay. So from here, pull. use your whole body. Muscles here at the back. Okay. So let's just do that 10 times. Each and back. Knee and back. Sun and back. She and back. Go and back. Rip and back. Seat and back. Hatch and back. Coop and back. Tube and back. They just let me a, let me give you a tip. I don't know if I've mentioned it in previous sessions. Right. When you train, try to always return back with the technique. It, it increases the intensity of your training, okay, and it keeps your the, yeah, the intensity. That's the word, the fancy word that I was looking for. Okay, so don't know. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Let's do another one. So it, it, it takes your focus away. Come back with the technique. Right, especially now that you're on your own. You don't have an instructor looking at you. You don't have your fellow classmates with you to to psych you up, to get the tempo. It's, it's always nice training with, with in a class. Shoot, I'm, I'm really missing, I'm really missing the classes. I'm missing my fellow, my students, my fellow instructors. But okay, that's me, just crying about it. Okay, is that, um, because then it's easy to get the vibe going, the hype going. Okay, now you have to, have to push yourself. It's really, really extra effort that you have to put in there. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying now. Come back with the technique, ready to go for the next one. Okay, so in the kata, you do the three steps. Okay, from here, if there's enough space here. Okay, come from here, reach. Step through, one, two, three. One, two, three, pull, strike. Okay, step through, one, two, three. Get pop and push it. Step through, one, two, three. Step through, one, two, three. Again, make sure. Last step, check. And one, two, three, up. Now push. And then we'll go into the next, next technique. Okay. So now, the next te technique, I first want to go and talk about the feet position. This is, this is very important. Because you have to turn from here, from this, from this stance, you're going to go into 45. Then you have to turn into Zen Kutsu Dutch, and you have to do, have to be shot, shot work, like all other stances. And it's also a break of an elbow. So if your stance is not shoulder width, how are you going to enforce a break? Because you're going to be off balance. So, just because of, excuse me, of the nature of the techniques that you want to execute, it's even more important that your stance must be correct. Because you have to generate a lot of power. How are you going to generate power? How are you going to break somebody's arm if your feet are on a straight line? You're off balance. Okay. So, the, the turn here is very, very important. And I'm gonna, it's lucky we're still early in the class. So I'm gonna spend a, a bit of time on this specific technique because it's, it's, it's one that we have to spend also in class. We always have to come back to this because the students are not getting this right. First point, first point. Let's put your hands on your hips. You are here now, okay, after this. So now, step in and make sure that you are a very definite 45 degree stepping in. From the Super Dutch, it's very easy because your feet are 45. Now you, you are in Zen Kutsu now. So now you have to make a plan. Now in our dojo, we've got a tatami with blocks. So if you are here, you can actually make a quite an easy calculation. If you are on a wooden floor, lucky you guys that have wooden floors, um, it's, it's, it's a bit more complicated. So you have to make a good guesstimate. Right? So anyhow, I'm sure you don't have a tatami now at home. 
So you have to also make a good guesstimate. So from here, make a good guesstimate of the 45 degree. And remember, both feet in the same direction. Don't start doing no funny stuff now, because you don't have a, 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 a dummy like this to, to estimate now. Now from here, you have to turn and have to have shoulder width now. Okay, 45 degrees. Um, turn and then have shoulder width. And coming back to technique. Okay, again from here, step in, 45 degrees. So, look at your stance, okay? Look at your stance, are your shoulder width? And coming back. Again, from here, step in, and turn, and shoulder. Okay, I want us to do that we've done on three times. Okay, the stance here, never mind the technique on with the, with the upper body. If your stance it goes wrong, then everything else is going to be a bit uh, complicated. Okay, let's try this again. Each, knee. And again, coming back to the stance. Each, knee. And coming back to the stance. Each, knee. Okay, you go. We have time tomorrow or later tonight. Depends on when you want to go through this again. Come back to the video if you, if you have to um, draw some lines on the floor. Just don't draw lines on your mother's, mother's base carpet, okay? You might become a problem. Um, go outside, you must get out of the house. Draw some lines on the, on, in the garden and make sure it's your shoulder width and get there and practice that, okay? Or on the pavers or whatever, don't, don't upset your dad down there. Okay, get that place where you can make sure that you have your shoulder width. Get this like, the more you get to practice this, you do that a hundred times, I think the next time you will have, you will be okay. Okay, now, now in, the, in the kata, you are here, and again, you want to break the arm force of line. So from here, you're going to have the hand high to uchi, and the other hand is straight down, focus the also, okay? Yeah, for, uh, if you think of, of, of the technique, this can be um, a block against the neck, this can be also a block, it can be a high to uchi to the neck, and, and this can also be like a strike to the groin, for example. You can be on the inside of an attacker, blocking his arm here, striking to the groin. For example, in, in, in the technique, it depends on, on, on what, you, what you want to achieve with the techniques. Okay, this can be a block against a, a kick and a high to uchi to the neck. On the inside or on the outside, striking, this can be starting off a throw. Okay, there are various applications of it. So, this is from here and the techniques from there. So now we come to the technique. Let me, let me show first, especially the juniors that doesn't that doesn't uh, know this cut at all. So from here, there is your technique. Stop. Okay? Underneath, then your arm come underneath. This becomes a half a block. Cover a block. Okay. Go back to the basics we did the last week or two. We said two blocks. Okay? Most of our techniques of our blocks have to we use both our arms in our blocks. So this is half covering the body. Maybe you're on an angle in here. Okay. Cover then the tip, like a hikiyuke. Hikiyuke bringing the arms in. The only thing is hikiyuke stops there. Now you complete the hikiyuke. Right? The hands is ready here for the strike. This here is pulling. Now, now think of this. This hand is going to pull. This hand is going to break. Okay? This hand is going to break the technique, the elbow uh, for now. Okay, so this is here. One, two, three, and now power. Power. Strength of the legs. In there. Okay, looking on where, you, where, your, where your attack is. Okay, this is where his body is. This is where your technique is. Okay. So, so we go back here. We go back here. So one. Two, okay, okay, making sure you've got it here, and, and lots of power, you don't have to generate a lot of power to execute this, to break the person's arm, 
there's also a rock, you can also roll the arm, turn it into a lock, force a person into the ground. So you want to go through all of this now. For me now, it's more, especially for the junior squats, you know, it's not to get too technical. Okay, this is more for the more seniors that we can do the more technical stuff. All right? But for what we want to achieve tonight, that the people can understand the technique and can understand the practice. So, let's go back to what we are doing here. So this is where, you know, in my class, I get the most questions. Why do, how do we do this? How do we not do this? Okay, so let's just stand here. So from here, okay. Half a block, get underneath. Turn it around and pull it in. Okay, and the other hand. Half a block, blocking it around, okay. I change hands, half, block it around and bring it around. Okay, half a block, bring it around and pull it back to your body. Okay, change hands, one, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Okay, so it is on this side, so we can just do it like this. Okay, and again, one, two, three. And again, one, two, three. And again, reach inside. Let's go into motion with this now. Let's see, cut it. You have two. You have two of this. These techniques. We start from here. Each. There go. Forty-five. I hope I'm not leaning forward. Okay, so from here, each sun. Now push, pull, strong. Our whole body. Put your whole body into this. Otherwise, it's not going to uh, work against a strong person. Each. Now we're going to do the same thing. Now again, the 45 degree angle. Each. One, two, three. And again. Right. So we go back. And each. And each. Sun. And break. Knee. Again. When you are practicing. Watch always correct. Remember what I said in the other session. You have to correct yourself. No instructor has the time to go and correct everybody. Right. Each sun and break up. And step back. Each knee. Sun. Each knee. Sun. And back. Each knee. Sun, each, knee, sun, and back, each, knee, sun, each, knee, sun, each, knee, sun, she, go, rick, sit, each, knee, in the sense it comes one of my namely sentences okay is that this is called a mirror image so the time that we spend on this we won't have to spend next time because on the other side of the kata this is repeated so we can fix it here now or get this under control here then it's easy on the other side so <coughs> revision of what we've done tonight Okay, we started off with this part of the cut. Okay, reach. Okay. One, two, three. Grip 
the floor, prop. Because you want to generate power. You want to pull right back. You want to pull. You may have to do it like this. Okay, from here. Reach. Then grab the floor. Grab the floor, prop. Right. Reach. One, two, three, step through. Everything is ready, ready to execute. Reach. Send us comments. Okay, ask the questions. Ask the questions. Okay, we can only help if you ask questions. My senior group, I'm going to put you my senior class and the two. All the dojo, you are very quiet. Either you know everything or I don't know what you are doing. Alright, you are very, very quiet. I've opened the WhatsApp group to, to get some interaction, so I'm putting you on the spot in front of the world so talk to us I'm missing you guys intermediate group same goes with you guys right? you guys are, are very very quiet so talk to us and remember this is this is not something that we plan for this is out of our control I've spoken to some instructors in others and other places, in other countries in the world. They're all in the same situation, um, and they're all going through the same feelings and emotions as us. Most of it frustration because they can't train properly, they can't spend time with their students, and can't transfer knowledge. They physically, cannot spend time with our geese. But that's that's how life works. Okay, we will just we will survive through this. We go to people. Right. Okay, make sure that you adhere to the rules and, and, and clean your hands properly. Live healthy. Live healthy. Right? Missing you guys. See you in, a, in, a, in two weeks. Uh, everything goes well. We will be on this floor in, uh, in two weeks from now and show respect towards the laws in this country like we always do and respect each other. I got to go to master.